Hello everybody, Alex Dodd here from Dodd Sports Network. Last night, the Greenville Drive defeated the Charleston River Dogs 4-2 in an exciting contest, and both teams had anticipation built up after a 24-hour waiting period when the game was postponed from Thursday and moved back to Friday. But both teams kept their composure, and it was a good game. Charleston came out and took an, a somewhat early lead at 2 to nothing with runs in the 4th and 6th innings, but Greenville also kept their composure, stayed focused, and came back in the 6th inning, and after two walks, Tavares had a huge double, a, a huge RBI double to put Greenville on the board, and that made the score 2-1, to one and made it a manageable comeback for Greenville. And then David Chester came up with it, a humongous two RBI single, and then another single pushed across a, another run, and that made it four runs in the inning that crossed the plate in the bottom of the sixth. And Greenville, you couldn't ask for more if you're Carlos Febles. He he said that he thought the runs were not going to come, but they did with some hits in the sixth inning. Jason Garcia had a great outing on the mound. He came in for a five and one thirds innings relief stint, where he went on to only allow three hits and a run, and he struck out seven and only walked two batters. And that's a tremendous outing on opening day from Jason Garcia, almost like a starting outing, but came in relief in that ball game. Here is the final line. Greenville had four runs on six hits and committed five errors, and Charleston had two runs on five hits and committed three errors. A little bit of sloppy ball play, but you can expect that on opening day in Class A minor league baseball. Look for the teams to correct that and toward the middle of the season be committing fewer and fewer errors. But I have interviews with Greenville Drive manager Carlos Febles and Greenville Drive pitcher Jason Garcia, and you'll see those interviews. And today, a doubleheader will be held between the River Dogs and the Greenville Drive at 4.30 and 7 o'clock. Here are the interviews you want. So long, have a great day, and God bless. Chester got you a big two RBI single in the six. Talk about how that sort of opened the gates for the team. To yeah, get definitely. I mean, he's a big guy. There's the guys that we hope to uh, come on, come big for us in, uh, in those situation, and uh, he did tonight. And it was a big hit uh, to tie the game uh, the sixth inning. It came out strong for you at one time throwing three straight strikeouts. Talk about his performance tonight. Oh man, it was lights out. It was good to see him back. Uh, you know, he struggled last year. And seeing him perform the way he did tonight was a, was a good boost for us, and uh, it's, it's good to, like I said, it's good to see him, uh, you know, perform the way he did. All right. Sir. Point. You had three straight strikeouts, mm -hmm. so you were obviously getting the ball across the plate tonight. Yeah, yeah, I felt good. I felt there was a couple of times maybe I got a little too anxious. Um, I know I had two walks. Uh, but I mean, I felt felt really good, really comfortable up there. You know, controlling the running game. You know, throwing strikes, getting ahead early. So the team backed you up with the bats too in the sixth inning. Yeah, that runs. that was big. We put up a four spot right there. Um, I know the guys were struggling a little to get the bats going, but I mean, first game looking good. So how does it feel?